welcome back to my channel. So this is a unpack with me video. I would say also a pack with me because I'm going to unpack everything that I just took on my business trip. So this is what I usually bring to a conference or any kind of work trip. So for those of you that are unsure how to pack for a corporate work trip, um, this will be a guide. So my trip is four days and three nights and it's spring. So I was really kind of unsure what to bring because I couldn't tell if it was going to be cold or hot. It said the forecast said North Carolina was going to be, you know, like 30s and 40s at night and maybe like 60s in the daytime. So I tend to get cold. So I packed extra. I'm going to tell you right now, I definitely overpacked this trip because last time I went to a conference, I completely underpacked and that was so much worse. Even though I underpacked, I still fit everything into my Samsung carry-on here. I can lift it. And also my laptop bag, which I always bring on work trips because I need somewhere to put my laptop. And for my airport outfit, I wore just a white t-shirt, a cashmere sweater that's black, and these jeans I just got from Uniqlo and my Sambas. I could rewear the jeans again for like casual nights out. So that was an extra pair of pants I did not have to pack. Let's unpack. I brought three dress shirts because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to wear. And also I tend to spill a lot of stuff. So I did bring three just in case I got something dirty and I could have a backup. I brought one full suit because last time I didn't bring a suit and I so regretted it. I think when you travel for work, it's better to be prepared to be more formal than not. And that's usually my rule, but I didn't follow that last time. I thought it was gonna be more casual, but it's not. Everybody was wearing suits and I totally regret not bringing it, so I packed a full suit this time. I did also bring two additional pairs of slacks because my last trip, I actually got one pair dirty and I think I only had two pairs, so that leaves me with one, just one pair of slacks. So and it was the same duration of trip and I really regret it again, not bringing an extra pair. I also bought, brought a black blazer just to go over the dress I brought or you know any of my other things but I really wish I had black pants I just don't have any black pants so but I do have a black blazer so this will probably go great with the gray one with just like a t-shirt or something underneath and next I did bring a dress again I wasn't sure if it was gonna be warm enough to wear this dress so I did bring it but with it I also brought like leg wear like tights so in case it did, was cold I could wear the tights with it in addition to all the dress shirts I did bring um two white t-shirts one red shirt and one like kind of dressy knit short sleeve shirt to possibly go under the suit again i'd rather be over packed in this case than under packed I did bring my flat iron too it's just because normally i don't bring hot you know hair styling tools but my hair is at such an awkward length that it really needs like a flat iron or curling iron which i hate doing it just needs to grow out of this length and i won't need this anymore I also brought a black cardigan just in case it was hot, you know, too hot, too warm for like the blazer, but still chilly. So this could go really well over the dress, over any of my dress shirts or any of those t-shirts. I have a set of PJs as well. You know, you don't need to bring these or pack these, but I like to just bring a set of PJs. Really easy to just stuff in there. For toiletries and makeup, I usually just keep it in these uh, TSA approved bags for the six ounces of liquid, but traveling in the US and just traveling within the US, they don't really check this bag anymore. Honestly, they don't make you take it out in any of the airports I've been to. So it's not really necessary that you separate out all your liquids, but I do just in case. And so this is all my toiletries and this is all my makeup. I try to keep it pretty simple when I'm traveling for work. I also did end up bring two pairs of shoes. They're both lower heels, so my feet don't get tired. This is more for that red dress and maybe my lower, uh, my shorter pants, but these are for my longer pants that needs a taller heel. And again, because it's spring and it's kind of like iffy with the weather, I did bring my puffer jacket. This is one of those beautiful packable puffers, so it shrinks up really small. I thought it was great to bring in case it gets cold and I could put this over my blazer. In terms of electronics, I of course have my work laptop, my uh, phone charger, and my laptop charger as well. These are all the items that went into this bag and also a just a little like drinking uh, bottle so for the plane ride. And I also put all my actual, what is it called? my uh, wallet and usually my phone into here. And that's basically it for my work trip packing. It didn't take me 
too long to pack. I did have to try on all my clothes before I uh, packed because I haven't worn them in so long. I realized I kind of need a new suit. I feel like mine's looking a little bit dated. I think I'm going to, when I get back, I'm gonna look for a new suit, probably in black, so it's you know more timeless and in a good quality fabric. So if you're looking for a suit, I've linked a couple of ones down, down below that I like. So the next thing I like to do after I unpack all my stuff is to hang it up because then that'll really prevent wrinkly. If you leave it in your suitcase, it's just gonna wrinkle. It's not like vacation where I just <laughs> leave it in the suitcase and I never unpack. But on work trips, I always unpack just so it is um, nice and not wrinkled and I don't have to iron as much. So I did pre-iron all of my shirts, but I think I'm going to have to iron it again probably um, before I wear them, I'm not sure. But actually, I think this one looks pretty good. This is actually a new shirt, new dress shirts from Uniqlo. I actually really like Uniqlo dress shirts. And then <clears throat> the striped one is from Banana Republic that I've had for a long time. This shirt, this is like really, really old and I just ironed it, so it still looks pretty good. I may not have to iron these again, but maybe I will tomorrow. It just depends on how much time I have to get ready in the morning. But yeah, I do like to hang up all my dress shirts so they are nice and neat. This is also a new shirt from H&M. I'm feeling I could wear this maybe tonight to the um, welcome party we're having, maybe with my uh, gray pants. I think this does need to be ironed a little bit before I wear it. I almost forgot to go over accessories. I did um, bring a little bag of accessories. I usually keep them in this bag. And I'm also already wearing jewelry. As you can see, This is these are gold pieces from... Uh, Anna Louise, I believe they're gold plated and I just don't take these earrings off because I feel like they're a pretty good basic. Also, this necklace is uh, from another brand. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll link it down below. But um, uh, also gold, I think this is gold vermeil and I usually just keep this on. I don't usually take it off. But I did bring some pearls just to, you know, kind of keep it classy. I have a couple different um, pearl necklaces, I believe. Actually, these are all real pearls. <laughs> So I thought they would go nicely with either my suits or the dress, kind of dressing it up a little bit, taking it up a little notch over there with the outfits. So I'm just gonna go into the bathroom now and I usually just leave all my toiletries here and my toothbrush and I put my flat iron here and they have a good mirror here for makeup and stuff. This bathroom is pretty nice. For my hair, I also brought, <laughs> brought a travel sized hairbrush, a giant claw clip with two hair ties and this hair clip just for when I wash my face in the morning. Again, I'm saying my hair is not well behaved now, so I need to do, I needed to bring a hair thing just to take it, you know, pull it back if I needed to. And then I also have dry shampoo. Obviously I brought socks and underwear, you know, like four or five pairs of each. Again, those items I really like to have a lot of just in case. Okay, so now I'm gonna head downstairs and go register for my event. I'm just gonna wear my airport outfit down there because you know, I don't need to change it until the event tonight. So yeah, I'll see you back here for that outfit. Okay, so I'm ready to go to my event now. I just did my makeup and then I really couldn't like figure out my hair just looked terrible in the back. So I just threw it up in a claw clip and now I'm gonna get dressed. Okay, so I decided to go with my oversized blue shirt with my beige trousers. I think I'm gonna need a belt. It's a little feeling a little too oversized. Okay, so I was trying to either leave it tuck, uh, one tucked or untucked and that just looked too casual. So I've just decided to tuck the whole thing in like this. I think I need a chunky necklace and that should be good. Okay, so I added some pearl necklaces. I just left the other one on because you can't really see it. So I think we are good. Um, kind of just this casual, but not too stuffy because it's oversized. Then here's a look from the full length mirror. These pants are a little bit too long, but that's, I just never had time to get them hemmed. But I think overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Good morning, everybody. So it's second day of my trip. I just got up, I did my makeup, washed my face and everything. I blue dried my hair yesterday, it looked great. Now it's flat and kind of a mess. So I have to flat my, flat iron my hair, I think. And I think I'm gonna wear this suit today. So let me go do my hair and then we'll be back. So today I'm going to go with the gray suit. I think at this top I just ironed to go under it, but I have a couple of backups like button ups and also some like white t-shirts. Cause last time the problem was I just didn't have enough shirts. I think I spilled like water or like the iron, I hate irons. They spilled water on the actual shirt and I couldn't wear it. So I didn't have enough shirts either. Okay, so that red, I mean that other shirt didn't work out. It just, the neckline looked really weird with the suit. So I'm wearing my red, 
um, stretchy shirt and the charcoal suit. But yeah, I'm really ready to let it go. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just about to leave. Here's the full look. I mean, the same black boots as uh, yesterday. But yeah, this top seems to work. I should have brought a bodysuit so it stays tucked in better. Morning. So this is why I bring extra clothes. I just was going to wear this black cardigan today. And I noticed yesterday was when, I, when I was ironing it that there are holes in the back. So yeah, this is out, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna have to go with my black blazer today. It's by the way, the second day. So I've already worn my suit. And yeah, we're going with blazer, with the dress. All right, here's the outfit on. We got the red dress, the black blazer, and my black kitten heels. Hopefully it's not cold today like it was yesterday or else I'm gonna have to come up here and change. So it was really cold downstairs and I decided to come upstairs and put on a pair of tights. These are the heat tech ones, I'll be warm. Good morning. Today is the last day. I'm checking out for a couple more hours at the event and I took a shower, blue dried my hair so it looks nice, but I'm already dressed. I'm just So here is the look for today. My gray pants and my Adidas Samas white t-shirt. I also have my black cashmere sweater that I will probably just throw over my shoulders. So yeah, here's the black sweater over my shoulders. And I think that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Remember to follow me on Instagram. And if you like this video, remember to watch my She in Dresses for Spring and Summer video here.